Hello, welcome to another video this time about selective breeding. I was walking down the road the other day when a dog stopped me and said, Mr. Collier, what is selective breeding? Now, my first thought was, of course, I wonder what selective breeding is. Can we come up with a quick definition? My second thought was, why is this dog talking to me? But these things happen in life, so we carry on. Let's have a think. Now, of course, when considering this, I thought, wow, selective breeding, it must involve lots of chemicals and lots of difficult processes because it's biology after all. But no, apparently not. Let's have a little think through song as to what it actually is. Yes, it is. Choose a breed to parents with the features that you'd like. Those two. From all their offspring, you choose the two best again. That one and that one. Keep breeding and then choosing for each generation. I see. Selective breeding. It's easy to get right. Get right. Choose a breed to parents with the features that you'd like. Those two. From all their offspring, you choose the two best again. That one and that one. Keep See, that makes perfect sense now. Let's just go over again. Selective breeding is easy to get right. So choose and breed two parents with the features that you'd like. From all their offspring, you choose them to best again. Keep breeding and then choosing for this generation. Selective breeding is easy to get right. Choose and breed two parents with the features that you'd like. Those two. From all their offspring, choose uh, the two best again. That and that one. Keep breeding and then choosing for each generation. Selective breeding is easy to get right. It is. Choose and breed two parents with the features that you'd like. Those two. From all their offspring, choose the two best again. Those two. Keep breeding and then choosing for each generation. Selective breeding is easy to get right. We can do this. Choose and breed two parents with those two. From all their offspring, you choose them to the best again. Yes, indeed. Keep breeding and then choosing for each generation. What a lovely finish. So, what we're thinking about here, and let's go through this one example really quickly. Selected breeding is very simple. You just choose the two parents with the characteristics or features that you want. So here, if I want a cow that's going to produce a high milk yield, I'm obviously not going to choose this one that's only got an average milk yield. I'm going to choose this parent. Remember, cows are female, bulls are male, which has a high milk yield. If I'm going to choose which bull, I'm obviously going to choose this bull with a good temperament rather than this bull with a poor temperament. I breed those two together. What are my offspring? While well, I have four options of cows, Good milk yield, average temperament, good milk yield, good temperament, average milk yield, average temperament, average milk yield, good temperament. I'm going to choose this one. It's the best of their offspring for the high milk yield and good temperament. And again, I'm going to choose to breed with a bull with a good temperament. This happens over generations and generations and generations and generations until you get the cow you desire with a high milk yield and a very good temperament. That has happened for many, many years. And it's not always perfect. Why do we do it? Well, here we go. Um, for larger animals or glands, so we get more meat or more milk. For disease resistance, so our crops can survive. For gentle nature, for our domesticated animals. And of course, Lois can produce larger or more unusual flowers. That is why we do, ladies and gentlemen. So selective breeding, very simply, you select which organisms you want to breed. Selective breeding. And it happens over many generations. In case you want the long-winded method, there it is. But for me, goodbye.